So, I'm about to have one of my therapy appointments, which is good. Uh, my therapist has been very helpful. Everything seems to be okay on that department. Uh, but we do have a lot to talk about. My son asked me a hard question today which I didn't know how to answer because he said that he did not want to go home yet, go to his mom's, and asked if he could stay until 10 o'clock in the morning because they usually get dropped off at 9 o'clock and I take them back at 9 o'clock. I said, no, nope, we can't do that because I was told that I have to have you home by nine o'clock and no later than that. And he asked why. Trying to explain a court order to a kid, especially an autistic child, is very difficult without trying to blame the mother on top of that. So I explained the best I could I told him that, you know, I could get in a lot of trouble and that I didn't want to get in trouble. So I have to follow the rules, at least for right now. And hopefully things will get better so that you can stay here longer. He said, okay. I was like, if you have any more questions, ask your mom. Pretty simple. Um, today has sucked a little bit because I had to shell out another thousand dollars for a lawyer, for my lawyer, because she told me that in divorce cases it usually goes over what I had already given her, which is a lot. So. On top of all this divorce stuff, I am still broke. I have $400 in my account to last me all month on top of all my other bills. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I did post a video on TikTok, which I never thought I'd do. But I'm trying to show people how things are going and asking for help on there but it doesn't seem like it's working very much um most of my son told asked me if because we went to the mall yesterday which was awesome we went to the play place inside the mall they played around for like half an hour I got myself uh, some Starbucks because I had a coupon and I got them a couple of drinks of water and then we went back to the play place for another 15 to 20 minutes. We start walking around the toy section in Barnes and Noble and that was it wasn't a mistake, but anyway, I'm getting off subject here. My son literally asked me if he could buy something, and I was like, no, I don't have the money for it, but when I get some money, I'll buy you something, which is fine, and he understood, but then he goes, well, Dad, I have some money saved up. Can we use some of my money along with your money? No, that money is your money to spend how you want to. But that's how I want to spend it, Dad. No. No, that's not what I want you to do with that, son. At all. That's for... 100% something that you want to buy yourself not help your dad pay for it. 
as we were walking around, my ex-wife has uh, bought the kids smartwatches that they can use to communicate with her and stuff like that. She ended up calling them a couple of minutes before we were about to leave. And I was like, you know, I was like, okay. So they were talking and they were, she asked where they were and they told her we're at Barnes and Noble. And they, she was like, all right, well, wait there a minute. She comes by while I'm getting the kids buckled in the car and she gives them each a present. She gives them both. One, she gives my daughter a rainbow high doll and she gives my son a Lego Technic car. I was just in Barnes and Noble. Xander saw that car that he wanted. I looked at the price, it was $50. How am I struggling to be able to pay all of my stuff on top of child support and everything else and yet she can she can buy them these expensive toys Xander was Xander was super excited Zelda was excited too and when we got back to my apartment I had to help him put it together how messed up is that? Honestly. He had fun with it. While he was here. Obviously. So, it's... But how is that fair? How is it... Uh, how is that okay to give the kids gifts while they're here with me? Or while it's my time? I don't get it. I would never do that. That is beyond messed up. That is like taking a knife and just sticking it in and being like, look what I can do. After that, I kind of lost hope for the rest of the day. I've been trying to make myself feel better. I have so many bills. My ex-wife gets to stay in the house. She gets to keep everything. And I get stuck in a two bedroom apartment and I'm still paying for both things. Well. I'm not paying for rent and stuff or mortgage anymore, which is good, but I'm still paying for everything else. $1,200 a month in child support. For a decision I didn't even want or know was coming. So if anybody has any words of advice or help for me, please let me know. I'm barely hanging on here.